summertime and long flights to new foreign places, beaches, really big sun hats, and that fresh ice cold pina colada in your hand and your sunscreen in the other. Who doesn't love traveling to foreign countries or pretty beaches and be the typical tourist? It's awesome, isn't it? Well, let's do the exact opposite and take a tour of the dark side. Well, dark tourism is becoming popular by the day with vast categories to explore related to death, tragedy, mystery, and the supernatural. Each passing year, more and more people visit some of the most unhappy and dark places such as the Japanese suicide course and the infamous Mikami Manor. Speaking of the supernatural, new generations are becoming more fearless and adventurous with paranormal activities catching the attention of many. Little do most know, you can visit some of the world's most haunted places like the Stanley Hotel, which inspired The Shining, or the actual house investigated by the famous American paranormal investigators Ed and Lorraine Warren from the movie The Conjuring. What's crazy is areas just as haunted can be located right near you. Believers and skeptics are always welcome to venture into the world of dark unknown. If you're on the lookout for a new place to explore this summer, dark tourism is definitely the way to go this year. If you're looking for something heavy, dark, tension, and traveling, the Japanese suicide forest is a place to go. The forest is mainly known to be the number one suicide spot in Japan, and there is said to be a legend about multiple spirits of the dead who haunt you. There is said to be recorded multiple deaths or attempts, and some of the bodies are more than likely to remain undiscovered. Its popularity is rapidly growing because in 2014, half the people who committed suicide in the forest are from somewhere else around the world, meaning that they traveled just to that forest to end their lives. If you're into supernatural movies like me, I definitely suggest The Conjuring House from the movie The Conjuring and Hotel Stanley, which inspired the famous movie The Shining. The Conjuring House is located in Harrisville, Rhode Island and is currently occupied by a family who takes care of the house. The story behind the house dates back to 1971, when the parent family of five encountered countless supernatural experiences, with mysterious suicides and deaths, to a suicide of a witch who proclaimed her love to the devil right before she committed suicide. Whoa, that's pretty scary. No kidding, but The Conjuring House is definitely on my bucket list. Up next is the Stanley Hotel, which is just as scary as it is historic. Located in Colorado, it also inspired the famous movie The Shining after Stephen King, yeah, THE Stephen King, spent a night at room 217, which happens to be one of the most haunted rooms of the hotel. You can actually make reservations to that exact room. Reservations might be tricky though, since a lot of people are interested to see the paranormal activities that happen in that room. Don't be discouraged if you don't get the room. If you get any room in the hotel, especially on floor 4, which happens to be the most haunted floor according to many guests and workers. Speaking of supernatural houses, the infamous McKinney Manor is home to dark tourism and the extreme scary. It's a haunted house attraction where the scariest horrors come alive. Its popularity is truly seen because there is a 20,000 plus person wait list. The FAQ section of the website is already concerning and scary enough. The McKinney Manor is said to be an intense and frightening physical and mental experience. The experience includes things such as almost drowning, unusual costumes, torture, and screaming from ear to ear. The experience is so extreme and very chaotic that people can barely last a few minutes into the horror experience. Possibly the next time you're planning a vacation to another one of those picture-perfect islands, be spontaneous and take a tour to the dark side. The real question is, are you brave enough?